So what do we do now? Today is October 7, which makes it one year since October 7 last year. That's how a calendar works. Which means it's been one year since a certain entity decided to wage genocide against a certain other entity, Palestine. This entity did a very good job at showing us its true colors throughout this past year. And whenever there was doubt, it doubled down. And then it doubled down again, it tripled down, it quadrupled down. And that happened throughout this past year. And then here we are today. And this entity is now trying to do the same thing it did in Palestine, in Lebanon. This entity, why am I not using its name? First of all, because I'm grossed out, I'm disgusted. I'm sick of hearing the name and I don't want to use the name because I don't think the name should exist. Let's call them Voldemort. Let's call the entity Voldemort. Now Voldemort is strong, right? But Voldemort requires a lot of assistance in order to exist. His existence means bloodshed. His existence means violence. In order for him to exist, there needs to be violence. Therefore, I don't believe in his existence. If you exist at the cost of another, then maybe you should not exist. In nature, that's called a parasite. It leeches off another life in order to sustain its own. That's the only way it can exist. It's a leech. And on, not only Voldemort is leeching off the land and its neighbors, but Voldemort is leeching off the United States of America. A fucking hurricane destroyed homes here in the United States, destroyed families' lives. But the US government, what, what is it gonna do? Should we help them? No. Let's send 8.5 billion to Voldemort. And let's give $750 per family in the United States. To help them. $750. You know what that buys here? Maybe like a couple of weeks of groceries. But their homes were destroyed. $750 if your life is perfect is nothing. But if your life is in shambles, that's like that's like a joke. It's better better not don't give me anything rather than give me $750 and tell me you're helping me. That's an insult. But this is the world we live in now. What can we do? I made a video a year ago about this situation, but that video was more like, oh, you can outgrow the, the hate that you were born in. You can unlearn it. It's possible. And even though I believe, still believe that, I believe it's possible. But that doubling down that Voldemort kept doing, it just proved to us that it's not possible. It's just a leech. It's a parasite. And in order for us to live without a leech, we need to get rid of the parasite. And that's not going to happen unless we stop giving the parasite what it needs to survive. But we're not the US government. We can't make these decisions. So what can we do? We can vote. Not to like Trump or Kamala, but we can vote with our money. You can choose where your money goes. Instead of going to this store, you go to this store. This is boycotting. Does boycotting work? It does. We've been boycotting this past year. Did it work? Things are still happening. So that means it doesn't work. Or does it? Starbucks is very desperate now. Have you seen their ads recently? It's fucking hilarious. And even if you don't think boycotting works, these companies are garbage. Like we know they're garbage. Your money is better spent elsewhere. There's a hundred alternatives. I mean, let's say dozens. There, there's dozens of alternatives. You don't have to spend your money at these companies. Just stop giving them your money. Your money has a lot of power, whether you believe it or not. Because your money and my money and their money, that all pulls together. That's how taxes work. And speaking of taxes, as a man who lives in the United States, who is from Lebanon, I am paying taxes to fund the bombing of my own people. And there's nothing I can do about it. 
Why, why don't I leave? That's a great question. Why don't you leave, Rudy? Just, you hate the United States so much, you leave. That's an amazing question. Where do I go? I'm still working on my papers here. So technically I can either go back to Lebanon. Does that sound good? Sounds amazing, right? Or I can stay here and pay taxes. And that tax money is gonna go to Voldemort so that I can bomb my own people. Hey, bud. But why should, I shouldn't even have to think about this. I shouldn't, I shouldn't leave the United States because it sucks. Because, oh, like it's funding genocide, so just leave. That's the solution. That's not a solution. That's not even a Band-Aid. Isn't this the greatest country in the world? Isn't it? You tell me. And then you have this other group of people who are like, hey man, aren't you happy that Voldemort is taking care of Hezbollah so that you can live happily in Lebanon without Hezbollah? That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Do you condemn Hamas? Hmm. We saw what happened if we condemned Hamas or if we didn't. That's just, that's just one of Voldemort's tactics. It's just, it's just a tactic to enable his leeching, his parasitic behaviors. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna entertain it. You shouldn't entertain it either. Voldemort is gross. So we can keep voting with our money. We can keep boycotting. I'll leave a link in the description. It's like a boycott list. Check it out. But Rudy, like, it's not gonna change anything if I go to McDonald's. Like, I need to, I have munchies, I need to go eat McDonald's, it's my ritual. Habibi, if you think that going to McDonald's and eating a burger is more important than what's happening, I have nothing else to tell you. You don't have the ability to process things. Go eat a burger, Habibi, have fun. Have fun, I hope you have fun. I hope it's the best burger you ever eat. So aside from voting with our money, what can we do? What can we do? This shit keeps happening. The shit is escalating. In my previous video, I said, this is just another day in the Middle East for Western people, like a oh, war happens. But there's a, there's been a lot of awakening. Voldemort showed his true colors, that's true. But it's also being normalized. Now it's even more normalized because the news isn't even covering what's happening in Lebanon. Some people don't even know. All of my um, content creator peers they don't have an idea what's going on. They don't care. Their lives are fine. Why should they talk about this? And that's not on them. You know, that's on maybe Western media. Maybe, maybe it's on them. But we shouldn't normalize this. And we should keep talking about this. So yeah, vote with your money, but don't stop talking about this. Use your voices. How many of you have a friend that you've known for a while? You think we're friends, you're close and you see them post something on social media, a meme or a tweet, something that is kind of making light of this genocide or uh, making fun of the death and, and murder or whatever you want to call it. And you think, that's, that's not funny. I thought this guy was my friend. I thought they were, you know, better than this. But that's what's been happening. Not only no we're normalizing things, but we're making fun of it almost. Uh, one of my buddies, I played ping pong with him. I'm sure, I'm sure he doesn't watch these videos, but even if he does, good. He sent me this, uh, like a picture of a Lego set. And it was, it was this one with a laughing emoji. And I was like, bro, like, this is not funny. And he's like, I know it's so dark right up my alley. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. If your mom was under the rubble, would it be up your alley? Would it be funny? I'm sure it wouldn't be, would it? I hope he watches this. I mean, even if I tell him this to his face, he's just gonna shrug and laugh. But that's, that's, the, fucking, that's the fucking society we live in these days. Our voices are all we have. I happen to have a platform, that's great. And whether you have 100 followers or 200 or 200,000 or 200 million, your voice is going to matter. Because if you stop using your voice at this point, you're going to become the exact same thing that we're trying to use our voices against. So let's not normalize this, please. Let's keep talking about this. Because that's all we can do.